Okay, so today in Ultimate Team, EA have began the Team of the Group Stage promo and it features some pretty good cards and amongst them is a 83 rated Diogo Yota who has finally got a special item in FIFA Ultimate Team and today we're going to do a player review on him. If you need to get your hands on some coins to improve your Ultimate Team then check out the link in the description, igvault.com and if you use the code Kieran at checkout you'll get yourself a pretty nice discount. Want to watch earners rejoice, Diogo Yota has finally got a special item in Ultimate Team. I don't think it's been upgraded yet, let's just have a look. Um, hasn't currently, but uh, will be in the near future. So if you've got the one to watch variant of him, that will be getting upgraded. But the interesting part about this team, the group stage variant of Yota, is the fact that it is a centre forward. Well, it comes out with packs as a centre forward, but we're of course going to be using it as a striker. This is the item, 5 star weak foot, instant positive there. 4 star skill moves is also pretty nice, and um, no traits to discuss. In-game stats though are looking quite nice. The dribbling department is absolutely solid, really good agility of 90 um, and good ball control and in-game dribbling of 87 as well. Um, passing is okay, nothing too special to shout about there and um, obviously the shooting isn't too bad either. He's got a nice shot, uh, shot power rating of 86 and an uh, okay finishing of 81 which is going to be boosted by the Hunter Kemp style which we have applied to him so hopefully in game his shooting is going to feel much better than that 81 shooting does in Indeed suggest the pace is pretty nice though 91 acceleration so he should hit his max speed very quickly especially considering his sprint speed is much lower than his acceleration so uh, we'll see how that plays out in game because that's there's quite a difference between his acceleration and sprint speed so uh, yeah we'll see how noticeable that is finally physically how is he looking good stamina of 82 and to be fair a very good combination of strength and balance so hopefully he's not going to be too easy to dispossess of the ball and hopefully he's one of the players who when he does lose, uh, lose possession wins it back rather quickly so with all that being said it's now time to just get into some games and to try this item out let's see how we get on with him in the striker role okay so straight into game number one and wow um on next gen you do not get much chance to uh, see the opposition's team um obviously i noticed varan gomez and mendy because they're so easy to spot because you see them all the time but yeah, I got like two seconds before the team was gone. Into Yota, who's now got a chance. Can we respond instantly? He's got a bit of a lucky bounce there, and we have responded instantly. Five-star weak foot coming in useful there. Um, weaker foot shot across goal into the back of net. Perfect response after going 1-0 behind. Fine, Diego Yota. He's going to link up very nicely with Nakata. And can we? Oh, we should have scored there. I had time. I could have took an extra touch there, but I wanted the first-time shot. Unfortunately, didn't pay off for us. Behind down the wing, Nakata. Does well, finds Jota, who's got the ball, and oh, we should have finessed there. We should have finessed. Finds Jota, who's going to keep the ball alive. A lot of passing involved right now as we try and open up some space. Ball's on the inside, chance. Can we get the shot away? We can, but blocked by Gomez. Here we go. Here's a chance. Here's a chance, and there we go. We take full advantage. Nice first touch from Jota there, and a really nice power finish as well to give us the lead. Okay, so at the break, we have ourselves a nice 2-1 lead. Um, obviously went behind early on, but came back pretty quickly. Um, for the most part, it's, it's been a tight game, but uh, I feel like if we're just a bit more clinical in the second half, we could, you know, really extend this lead. Section there from Sissoko, who plays it into Mana, who's got Yotta into a bit of space here, and he's done well to beat his man, and Courtois pulls off a good save. The header from Nakata, it's 3-1. And uh, as I say, we've got that comfortable lead, which I wanted. And also, with that in mind, we're going to make a change in at this game. I want to give him a striker partner just so he's got someone to play off. So uh, we are going to make a quick change. We're just going to bring, let's go with Rashford off the bench to uh, just partner him up top for the final 40, 30 minutes or so. Ball is played through from Rashford into Yota. Has he got the legs to get around everyone? They're coming, they're coming thick and fast, but he's actually done really well there. Avoids the would-be defenders and then just slams it into the back of the net with a nice power shot. Rashford plays it in behind to Yota, who's going to put the ball across the box. Chance! Oh, wow! I can't actually believe Thomas Pite has got to that. That's a big error from the opposition's keeper. But that now should be the game wrapped up at a 5-2 scoreline. Okay, so full time has come around and we've got ourselves a very comprehensive 6-2 victory. And obviously Yota as well got on the scoreboard quite a few times, which is uh, very nice. So uh, a very solid opening display. Okay, get ready because we're not going to see the team for long. This is what we are facing. He's actually got uh, Baby Cantona, Base Cantona and also Mbappe. And uh, yeah, you do not see much of the team, do you? You just really do. You guys can pause the video and see, but... Um, yeah, I, I honestly did not see this guy's backline, but I can probably guess at what it is. Ooh, big mistake at the back. 
And now Diogo Yota has a chance to take full advantage, puts it across the box, Mane gets to it, but didn't get much conviction behind that shot, Thomas. Finds Yota, who's done well to turn his man. Oh, he's hit the post. Gotta be scoring that. Have to be scoring that. Did so well with the turn as well. Chance. Mane out wide to the left. Puts it across the box. Here's a chance. Yota gets his head to it and opens the scoring. Nice start. And now we might have a chance to get in behind. Lucas finds him. Can we get round the man? Oh, he's done well. He's done really well. Puts it off to Nakata. And just like that, it's 2 0. 2 0 against a very, very good side as well. Great opening 16 minutes. Good bit of play. Good bit of play. Space in the box. Oh, I just couldn't get the shot away there. And Virgil van Dijk's absolutely just monstered the Portuguese forward. Chris finds Jota. He's going to find space for himself until Virgil van Dijk just comes across and just steals the ball. From Alex Tellers, by the way. As Jota tries to get around his man and he's still got the ball somehow and he's hit the post. Does well. Gets the ball through to the Portuguese forward who's got to take on van Dijk and he's done well to do so. Gets round another and then eventually... I, I wouldn't say he handed the ball off to Mane there because he got tackled, but uh, the ball ended up at Mane's feet, and he is not going to say no to a chance like that. Nice. Does well to hold up the ball there. Tellez returns to favour in behind. I can see Lucas free at that back stick. Can we find him? Yes, we can. Oh, wow. I actually thought that shot went wide. What a finish that is from Lucas, by the way. Great ball from Diogo. And, um, yeah, an even better finish from the Brazilian. I can't believe he scored that. So after a brilliant opening 45, we have ourselves a pretty nice lead at half time. Just going to make the same changes I made in the first game. And um, we're going to switch to a 4 1 2 1 2. And we're going to go um, and give Yota a striker partner. Holds it up and then puts the ball through. Can we get to that? Oh, almost. Oh, the ball is just ricocheting everywhere. Eventually, we come away with the ball. Mane flicks it into the box. Here's a chance. And what a mess of a goal that is. What an absolute mess. Nice, really nice pass there from Rashford. Going to pull back, go on that left, and that is a brilliant finesse shot. I love those kind of whip shots that just bend around and just give the keeper no chance. And there is full time once more. It's been another very, very big score on with, uh, you know, all of our forwards getting in on the act, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, very, very positive attacking display. Okay, so after a few more outings with Diogo Jota in the team, what are my thoughts on the item? Um, ultimately, a pretty good card, and any forward with a five-star weak foot is probably going to be liked by me, just because I really like the unpredictability they can bring in attack. You can go off the left, you can go off the right, no issues whatsoever. It's just a huge thing to have. So um, just off the back of that, I knew I was going to enjoy this item. Also, in-game, this guy's just good. He's just you know, an effective item, he's good on the ball, he's got good pace, and he can just do some damage against oppositions, which is great. So uh, let's break things down properly, shall we? Let's begin with this guy shooting. Look, straight up, he's he, he can score goals, he definitely can, but he's definitely not as clinical as other strikers that are available. And just off the back of that, that, that that's a bit of a shame, to be honest, because uh, he gets into some really good positions, but ultimately, he isn't super clinical. He can still score goals, do not get me wrong, and we've seen that in the footage, but compared to other, you know, top-tier Premier League strikers, he just isn't on their level when it comes to actual, actually finishing chances. But, um... He can still score goals, so uh, don't worry about that. Um, I liked his pace. He does take, um, you know, a, a nice like, early touch when he gets the ball, and I haven't explained that well. What I mean is, like, his first touch is pretty much into his max speed, and he does feel quick instantly, which is great. So that's quite nice. He's not, like, electric. He's not, like, super rapid. But um, because of that initial burst of pace, he can beat a man quite easily, which is great. And um, positionally, also another positive to this card, made some really good runs for me, and you saw it in the footage, got in behind a lot, and just, you know, popped up in the right areas, which was very, very pleasing. His passing is just average, to be honest. How many assists did he get? Um, he actually got a couple, um, but to be honest, his passing as a whole was just average. That's not a bad thing. He's a striker. We weren't expecting his passing or distribution to be amazing, but um, yeah, it's just nothing special, and that's all there is to say. Luckily, he does have that fast, star weak foot, though, so he can pass off of either foot, um, with no issues, but um, ultimately not obviously a master distributor. I wouldn't use him as a cam to be honest, but if you were going to, I suppose you could use a passing heavy chem style to help him out in that department. Dribbling is definitely one of the positives of this card. I thought his dribbling was class to be honest. Big fan of the agility. He feels very good with the ball at his feet, and um, yeah, he's just one of them players who are just 
very easy to control possession with. And he's also one of the players who, when he loses the ball, he has the ability to win it back rather easily thanks to um, his aggression. He wants that ball. And uh, once again, if you watch the clips, you will have seen that, the way he fights for possession. So that's great. Um, that brings us on to the physical stats. Look, he doesn't have great strength, but he's got decent strength. He's one of them attackers who can have success against fullbacks, but ultimately against centre-backs, um, he probably will be pushed off the ball. Um, his stamina... That was one thing that was a bit disappointing in, to be honest. Um, I think it's due to his high, high work rates because he's moving around so much, even when you're not controlling him, that he tires a bit quicker than other forwards. So uh, towards the end of the games, you may look to sub him off, especially if you're going into extra time in champs. Aerially, I was kind of surprised at the amount of headers he won, to be honest, because he's 5 foot 10 and he doesn't have amazing jumping, but um, actually won a fair share of aerial battles for me, which is quite nice. But ultimately, his head and accuracy isn't great, so he's not going to you know, score too many headed goals. All in all, though, I do think this is actually just a pretty good item, and in the right hands, I definitely feel like this card will do some damage for some people. So, uh, yeah, 150k for this item. I don't think it's a bad price, but I do believe that price will come down. And I, I don't think many people are actually going to pick this item up anyway, because most have the one to watch uh, variant of him. They'll probably wait for that to be upgraded and they'll just use that card and change position in game if they want to use him as a striker but um all in all a good striker but ultimately i don't think he's like you know a top tier one and i think for 150k there are many better premier league options which you can pick up for your teams if you're running with a premier league side so i don't think he's great value for money but um he's definitely not terrible either but um yeah nice card fun item love that fast star week foot and forward and uh all in all a fun card to use but anyway let's wrap things up hope you enjoyed the video if you have drop a like rating on it comment below your thoughts subscribe if you're new i'll catch you in the next one